Hey guys, welcome back. It's Rebecca Louise and I'm here in Bali bringing you one of the most requested videos. Yes, thanks for all your comments on Instagram. We're going to be doing an outer and inner thigh workout. And if you've got weights, we're going to use those as well. So pick up a weight. Uh, I've got here, it's, uh, it's 1 kg, 1.25 kg, but whatever feels good for you. Maybe you want to hold a couple of weights, whatever it is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that leg out to the side, hold that weight in front, and we're just going to lift up that leg up and down. So we're just squeezing those glutes, okay, and using that inside thigh to lift up the leg. Now it helps actually if you have your foot a little bit floppy because that really engages that inside thigh. So we're going to be doing 15 minutes. Some of the exercises are going to have weights. You can add them in whenever you want, but we're going to burn through the whole way. So make sure you hashtag, I can feel the burn Rebecca after you've done this workout. Okay, so just pull up nice and tall for me. That's going to help with your balance. Relax that foot and really use that inside thigh to lift up. That's it. Great job. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, switch it over to the other side. You can really start to feel it kicking in. Let's go. So what you want to do is you just really want to lift up on that inside core so you're feeling nice and tall and you're just gently touching the foot down to the ground. So it's just to do like a rep. We're not just going to be putting the weight all the way here. We really want to keep all of the resistance in that leg. Okay, chest up and breathe in and out. So important, sometimes when we're exercising we forget to breathe and that's how we get dizzy. So keep squeezing and lifting up that chest. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake it out a little bit. My legs are super stiff from the workout I did yesterday. So I'm gonna keep pushing through and it's just gonna stretch out those legs a little bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nice wide plio. Okay, we're still holding on to that weight. If you have got another one, you can pick up the other one. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put those weights on those thighs, okay? So on the quads and we're just gonna squat down and raise up again. Now this type of squat is a plie squat. So our hips are tucked underneath and you just think about yourself in two planes of glass and you're gonna go straight down, okay? So the butt's not sticking back, we're going straight down and then that's what's gonna be working those thighs. So squeeze up and take it down. And this weight here is just gonna add a little bit of extra resistance so we can really get that outer thigh, get that resistance squeeze in the inner thigh and it's just going to improve those results and you're not going to get bulky, don't worry. You have to lift a serious amount of weight and I'm talking like hundreds of pounds and eat lots and lots of food. So don't worry that this workout is not going to get you bulky so you can do this every day and if you're not sure what workouts to do when, make sure you check out the fitness calendar. It's a PDF you can print out and it's also the live workouts that you can do. So 30 minutes every day, it's a different body part. You're gonna get recipes on Sunday. It's a great way to stay on track. So make sure you check it out because first seven days are free. Okay, take it down here. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up one heel at a time. So we're still making sure that we're keeping those hips tucked underneath and we're just relaxing those weights I say relaxing, I know, I know this doesn't seem so relaxing, but you're just gonna rest those weights on those thighs. That's it. Now, take it down a little bit further and do the same thing. So we really wanna really push that body so that we can get those results. You gotta take it to the next level so that you can really increase the muscle, work on that thigh gap, whoo, and burn those outer thighs. Okay, so let's take it down one more time. Last set. So just raising those heels, super simple. You can drop the weights at any time for the modified version. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, walk those feet back in for me, shake it out. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take it out on a diagonal. So you're gonna put your, just start with your right, uh, your right leg and we're just gonna extend back and here, okay? So we're gonna really start to feel it in that inside thigh here. So you're gonna hold both weights just straight out in front of you. And this just increases the resistance. So sometimes when we don't use weights, we might need to work out for a little bit longer just to feel that resistance, to feel that burn. But we're gonna get straight to it today. And if you don't have weights, then fill up two water bottles with water or sand. You know, you can even do that on vacation. It's a great way to still get your workout in and use a little bit of weighted. Okay, so chest up for me and lift that leg up. You've got this guys. Come on, focus on something so that you're working on your balance. And this is the great thing is too, we're getting a, a little arm workout in and also using that core. So lift up, 
and squeeze. Now remember what I said earlier about not having your foot, you know, tense, have it floppy so that you can really engage the inside thigh. Oh, I can start to feel it on the outside thigh as well too. And you can even feel it on the inside supporting leg because of those weights, okay? So that weight, that resistance down is just improving that burn that we get. And who doesn't want to improve the burn? Okay, you got this guys for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, take it over to the other side. So it's on that slight diagonal, okay? Weight's just in front of you and just lifting that back leg up. So nice and tall in that supporting leg, have that chest up for me, and then just lift that leg up out to the back. <laughs> You're gonna start to feel it. You start to really feel those inside thighs, that thigh gap. You wanna work on the outer thigh, the inner thigh. These are the best workouts for it. So chest up and lift the leg. Relax that foot for five, four, three, two, and one, okay, shake it out. Now we're gonna take it down to the ground. We are already six minutes in, doesn't that feel amazing? It goes so quickly. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna still hold these weights. Again, we're gonna put them on our thigh and we're just gonna lift up to the top. Okay, so we're just gonna do a static hold here just to start to engage that inner thigh. Okay, so just squeezing, bring those hips up to the sky. So let's work on getting this bridge right first. You wanna have your knees in line with your hips that's in line with your shoulders, okay? That really making sure that you're pushed all the way up and then just relax those hands on the thighs with the weights. Now we're gonna wrap it out. So we're just gonna squeeze up and down. So this is workout is really good for glutes, but it's also gonna hit that inner thigh area, okay? You can feel the squeeze, you can feel the burn in there. So we're just lifting all the way up, touching that butt to the ground, and then bring it all the way up into that straight line that we first created. You're gonna look straight up to the sky, hold on to those weights onto your thighs. If it's too much, you can just drop them to the side. And you can always join us again when you're ready to use those weights. So we're gonna lift it and stay up into the top here, okay? Your weights are gonna to come to the outside of your thigh and then you're just gonna squeeze those knees together, okay? So using those weights just on the outside of your thigh and let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hold it up here. Put those weights back on top and then really lift those hips up to the sky. Relax your head down. You don't want to be looking up. You just want it nice and relaxed with those shoulders on the ground too. And let's go into that second set. So down we go. We're just going to wrap it out. Really push those hips all the way up to the top. Squeeze those inner thighs. Oh yeah, we're getting a great workout in guys. If you can feel the burn, then make sure that you hashtag I can feel the burn on Instagram. You can find me at Rebecca Louise Fitness. Let's go and squeeze. Woo! Three, two, one. Okay, second set, bringing those weights out to the side. You're gonna get a little arm workout in here as well. And we're just gonna be bringing those knees in and out. That's it. And let's go for 10, nine, eight. Push those hips up to the sky. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, release. How are your legs feeling? You can shake them out a little bit. Okay, next exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna come up onto our side here, okay? And you're gonna put your knees on top of each other. We've got one weight here, and all you're gonna do is just bring that knee up to the top. So working here, the inner thigh, just putting a little bit of pressure on that outer thigh with that resistance. So just lifting that leg up, and you want to have your hand directly underneath your shoulder. Whew. And lift. This is great, guys. You're gonna feel so incredible afterwards, but you've gotta get through the whole workout. That's really important. We can't just do two minutes here, a couple of minutes there. We gotta get through the whole 15 minutes, and 15 minutes really isn't that bad. You can do it. And if you're finding it hard with results, then remember that 80% is nutrition and 20% is a fitness. So you need help with your nutrition plan, we've got you covered too on the website. You can click on the link above and it's gonna give you more information about how you can help with your nutrition and your diet. Okay, let's squeeze. Now lift it up here and just pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's take it over to the other side. How are those legs feeling? They are killing and they're burning. So let's pick up that weight 
and hand directly underneath your shoulder and up we go. That's it, just nice and gentle. Try and keep the bottom knee onto the ground. So if you can only lift it up a small part, no problem. It's better to keep the knee on the ground rather than lifting the leg all the way up and that knee coming off the ground. So really think about engaging that inside thigh muscle. And as we come back down with that weight, oh yeah, that just gives it that extra squeeze. But anytime you need to bring that weight off, no problem. Or if you need to increase the weight, then do that. Whatever is gonna be making the last few reps really challenging, that's what you wanna do. Okay, so ready to rep it out. At the top, let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good job everybody. We're gonna come onto our front and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be extending the leg out to the back and to the side. So I'm just gonna demonstrate here. So hands underneath your shoulders. You're gonna extend one leg here and you're just gonna bring it out to the front and squeeze, okay? So it's just like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a weight in, okay? So you're gonna have to hold your weight in your other side and you're just gonna squeeze out. So again, you can just relax that foot Make it nice and floppy, and then we're just using that leg. Feel the burn on that inside thigh. You can feel it on the outside as you come back in, and then you're just holding that weight in the other hand. Just to make it a little bit more challenging, modified version is you're just gonna put your hand on the ground. But as you build up that strength and that, that core stability, you can add in that weight. Okay, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one, now we're gonna pulse it out to the side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. Let's go over to the other side. We've got three minutes left to go. So grab hold of that weight and let's squeeze. And now anytime you need to just put that weight down, it's no problem, really concentrate on using your leg. If the weight is too much right now, then really you, all you wanna do is just relax that hand down and concentrate on that leg going out to the side and you using your inside thigh muscle to bring it out. So we're gonna rep it out in a second. Let's go a few more reps here. Three, two, one. Okay, now 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, keep everything else still, three, two, one. Okay, great job everybody. Now what I want you to do is come up into that high plank and we're gonna walk all the way back and gently stand up to the top. We're gonna come back into the middle where we started. You're gonna grab those weights and we're gonna go back into that really, really deep plie squat, okay? So that chest is up and we're gonna take it down. So just where we started, we're gonna finish on a burn and you're gonna get amazing results. You've just gotta keep on pushing. You guys do incredible. It's amazing, I love seeing your transformation pictures. That is just, it's so rewarding and you guys are just crushing it. Woo! Okay, so we're gonna take it down here. Now we're gonna sway to either side. So can you start to really feel it on those inside thighs? Oh yeah, it's kicking in. Have that weight on the side of you here just to add in that resistance. It's kind of like just pushing you down, making those muscles work a little bit harder. And that's what's gonna increase those results and you're not gonna get bulky. Do not worry. Okay, we're gonna take it down to one side and just hold it here. Breathe in and exhale. Okay, we're gonna take it over to the other side. Hold here. Inhale and exhale. Okay, one more set of these. Just taking it side to side, keep that chest up, really feeling it in those inside thighs. We've got less than 60 seconds to go. Oh my goodness, you are doing incredible. Let's keep it up. And let's go back into those squats. So nice and wide, make sure that your feet are turning out and the body is going straight down. Keep the chest up and use those weights on you guys. If you need to increase the weight, make it harder, then do that. It's just the last 60 seconds to go. So you wanna push yourself to the absolute max. Let's hold it down here and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's take it again. Come on guys, we're doing great. It's time to kick in, that burn is on fire. This is what we've been working for for the last 14 minutes, is this last minute 
to really crush it and do amazing. Let's go, let's hold it down here. That's it, take a nice big breath in and breathe out and smile. Okay, let's pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's take it one more time. I know, but this is where the results are gonna start to kick in. And you guys can do this, just stay with me. Just keep your body moving. If you need to drop those weights, you can do that. But you are so close to the end. That finish line, just think about running a race. You're gonna get the medal at the end of the race, but you've gotta complete it. So that's why you guys are gonna stay with me. Okay, take it down, hold here. <laughs> You're so close to finishing. And let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! And you are finished. Walk those feet in together. We did some extra bonus stuff right at the end there. So you can put those weights down, shake out your body, shake out your legs. Make sure you do our cool down video. There's actually an exclusive warm up and cool down video on the calendar. So make sure you go and check that out because they are the best quick and easy warm up and cool downs to do. My name is Rebecca Louise. Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you check out the vlog channel so that you can see really what happens behind the scenes when we're trying to film you guys' workouts. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.